Well, here we go with the counselling. Now, this is uh, a theoretical basis for putting together modern uh, counselling theory, which um, are basically integrated as follows. Uh, if you've understood, I've introduced Freud on the autonomous system, which I haven't put on here. So this is counselling. Now the first thing to say, I suppose, for you know, counselling counsellors uh, or counsel, counselling students, is um, about Maslow's hierarchy of need. Now here we have at the bottom you know, the needs of the body, and this is about the food, you know, obtaining objects, the flow of things. Here next we have the, the social needs, which here are clearly seen as like the same as the sexual needs or the need for human warmth. And then we have here the need for self-actualization. This is the Maslow theory. Now, the main theories that are in use at the moment are CBT, REBT, and EMDR. Now, what I'm saying is, well, let's go back a step. Originally, this was from the Upanishads, that there was two birds singing in a tree. And these two birds are the, uh, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. Now, the left hemisphere is concerned with movement, with observing movement. You know, you're just watching movement, being attracted to movement. So we're attracted to cartoons, and we mimic cartoons, we mimic, which is about this path, seeing. See, the EMDR, the eye movement, is moving the eye to the, to the right and to the left. To the right, watching behavior, watching cartoons. Uh, to the left, recognizing faces and the relationship, which is in REBT, the relationship which, you know, between, between the counselor and the client. So, in the Upanishads, we have the two birds, the two hemispheres, and this has come down to us now with Dr. Schiffer and dual brain psychology, you know, of two minds. And these are the two minds. You know, the pi, the moving, the move, being attracted to movement, the moves, knowing the moves, or bad moves, you know, the behavior, the wrong moves. Here, with REBT, we have actual judgments of the self, you know, self-image. To understand this is, there is the observer. The observer is seeing a movement here and identifying with that movement, thinking I am moving with that object, I am with that movement. And so obviously that leads to anxiety and it leads to reason and justification and you know all, all manner of things. Because that's what's very important about this, about counselling, about CBT, REBT and EMDR is that these will give us a better knowledge of how this structure works, so that it can make a valuable contribution to our actual experience and being able to program that knowledge and share that knowledge. And this is suggesting a, a, you know, an integrated theoretical model for these counselling uh, techniques. CBT, so they're all basically operating on the dual brain psychology. The CBT goes to the left brain, REBT to the right brain with faces, EMDR with the, with the eye, the tratacalm, the training of the gaze moving from right to left. Thank you.